Good evening, and Happy New Year. Welcome to the annual reorganization meeting of Hillsborough Township Committee for 2019. I'm Hillsborough Township Municipal Clerk Pamela Borick, and it is my honor to preside over this meeting for the seventh time as required by New Jersey law until members of this Township Committee select a mayor. I will now call the roll. Committeeman Delcor. Here. Committeewoman McCauley. Committeeman Thompson. Here. Administrator Ferreira. Here. Attorney Willard. Here. Unfortunately, Committeewoman McCauley advised our office earlier today that she has come down with the flu and is too ill to be here to join us this evening. In a moment, I will ask you all to rise for the presentation of colors and for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the invocation, after which time you may be seated. So please rise as the following Girl Scouts <laughs> from Service Unit 72 present our colors. Abigail Lombardi, Katie Fronde, Ab Abigail Snowden, Gunda Barbaria, Tyne Brogan, Jamie Cridge, Kathleen O'Brien, Alyssa Parola, Laura Weintraub, and Courtney Zweifel. They are being escorted by Hillsborough Township Police Chief Darren Powell, and they will also lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Flag bearers, post colors. Detail, right face. Forward, park. Will you please bow your heads with me as we pray? Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you for the many opportunities and blessings in 2018. We are also thankful that you were with us during our trials and difficulties. Tonight we gather at the beginning of a new year to commit to you the people and business of Hillsborough Township. God, you have called the members of our Township Committee to the awesome responsibility of being servant leaders. We thank you for them and all those who serve with them. We ask that you will grant to them your spirit of wisdom, charity, and justice, that they may faithfully serve in positions to promote the well-being of the people and institutions of Hillsborough. Please surround them with supported family and friends. Strengthen their bodies, their minds, and their spirits as they endeavor to serve you and the people of Hillsborough. We humbly ask for your continued blessings on the organizations businesses, schools, and families of our township in 2019. And we ask for your blessing this evening on the Township Committee Reorganization Meeting. We pray all these things in your holy name. Amen. Thank you to the Girl Scouts of Service Unit 72, Chief Powell, and Reverend Tim Wolf of the New Horizon Christian Fellowship for your participation this evening. Please join me in a round of applause for all of them. Please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, 
That notice of this meeting was made by posting on the bulletin board of the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7 p.m. on January 2nd, 2019. Before we continue, I wish to acknowledge a number of special guests who have joined us this evening. The support given to Hillsborough Township by so many elected officials is truly appreciated, and your presence here this evening means a great deal to our township. Senate Republican Leader Tom Kane Jr. was here earlier, um, but he had another commitment, so he sends his well wishes. Senator Kip Bateman. <laughs> Assemblyman Jack Chatterelli. <laughs> Assemblyman Andrew Zwicker. <laughs> Assemblyman Roy Fryman. Freeholder Brian Gallagher, <laughs> Mayor Bob Wagner, <laughs> Mayor Carl Saracci, <laughs> Deputy Mayor Helen Haynes, <laughs> <She's somewhere. laughs> she might be outside, <laughs> Deputy Mayor Greg Brichette, <laughs> Committeeman Paul Drake. Mayor and Administrator Anthony Ferreira. And Mrs. Joan Biondi. Thank you all once again for joining us this evening. The certification of the election results um, for the November 6, 2018 general election. It is my honor to announce these certifications as provided to me by Somerset County Clerk Steve Peter, electing Sean Lapani and Olivia Holmes to the Hillsborough Township Committee for a three-year term beginning January 1st, 2019, and ending December 31st, 2021. Congratulations, Committeeman Lapani and Committeewoman Holmes. At this time, I ask Mr. Lapani, his family, and former Assemblyman Jack Cetarelli to please come forward to administer the oath of office. Solemnly swear. Do you solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And I will bear true faith and allegiance. And I will bear true, true faith and allegiance to the same. To the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established in the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially. That I will impartially and justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties, all the duties of the office of commitment, of the office of commitment, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs>
welcome Committee Member Lapani. Please join your colleagues here on the dais. Yeah. I ask Ms. Holmes, her family, and Assemblyman Roy Fryman to please come forward to administer the oath of office. Do solemnly swear that I will support that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And I will bear, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and allegiance to the same, and to the governments established, and to the governments established in the United States and in this state, in the United States and in this state, under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further, further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will impartially and justly perform. That I will impartially and justly perform. All the duties of the office of committee woman. All the duties of the office of committee woman. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Welcome committee woman Holmes and please join your colleagues here on the dais. Holder Mark Caliguire um, joined us this evening, so thank you also for being here. <clears throat> now that they've joined the dais, I will conduct another roll call. Committee Mendelcor. Yes, here. Com <laughs> Committee Woman Holmes. Yes, here. <laughs> Committee Man Lapani. Here. And Committee Man Thompson. Here. Thank you. Next, we will proceed with the election of mayor for 2019 for Hillsborough Township. Are there any nominations for the office of mayor? Madam Clerk, I'd like to nominate uh, Frank Delcor for the position of mayor for 2019. Is there a second? I would like to second that nomination. Are there any further nominations? 
Seeing none, I declare the nominations closed. I will now conduct a roll call on the selection of Frank Delcor, Mayor of Hillsborough Township for 2019. Committeeman Delcor. Yes. <laughs> Good answer. Committeewoman Holmes. Yes. Committeeman Lapani. My pleasure to say yes. Committeeman Thompson. Yes. I declare Frank Delcor mayor for Hillsborough Township for 2019. Congratulations, Mayor Delcor. <laughs> I'd like to call upon Honorable Senator Kip Bateman to please come forward with Mayor Delcor and his family for the oath of office. <laughs> Chief, silence the phone. <laughs> True confession, mine was on too by accident. <laughs> That's getting back yeah, to the precinct. Mine. <laughs> mine was on. I'm sorry. <clears throat> done this before. The word is I think I remember a couple times. I, I, Frank Delcor, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and to the governments established in the United States and to the governments established in the United States and in this state and in this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people so help me God so help me God I do further solemnly swear I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially that I will impartially and justly and justly perform perform all the duties all the duties of the office of mayor of the office of mayor according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God congratulations thank you Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2019 Mayor of Hillsborough Township, Frank Delcor. My favorite part of the meeting has now begun. Mine too. <laughs> Frank, like, just like yesterday? It, yeah, it wasn't that long ago. It feels pretty good. <laughs> okay. Thank you all very, very much. Uh, my colleagues as well. Uh, I'll have a few marks in a few minutes, but uh, we still have some additional reorganization business to attend to. So with that, we will proceed to the election of the deputy mayor for 2019. Are there any nominations for deputy mayor? Mayor, I would be honored and pleased to nominate Doug Thompson for Deputy Mayor. Is there a second? I will second that nomination. Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, I declare the nominations to be closed. Ms. Bork, will you please conduct the roll call for the election of Doug Thompson as Deputy Mayor for 2019? Committeewoman Holmes. Yes. Committeeman Lapani. Yes. Committeeman Thompson? Yes. And Mayor Delcor? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, 
I'd like to call on the Honorable Kip Bateman again to uh, administer the oath of office to uh, Deputy Mayor Thompson and have his family come up as well. Aye. Aye, Douglas Thompson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially that I will impartially and justly perform and justly perform all the duties all the duties of the office of deputy mayor of the office of deputy mayor according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Deputy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Deputy Mayor Doug Thompson. At this time, we do have one presentation for this evening, and I'd like to ask Carl Sirachi to please come forward, and uh, we have a special presentation for uh, former mayor, deputy mayor, committeeman, uh, all around, Carl Sirachi. So as has been uh, recent tradition, uh, when we either have an outgoing mayor or uh, someone that has served this committee with such distinction, in Carl's case for 15 years, uh, we want to recognize your service, your dedication to the community, uh, all the effort that you have put in to make Hillsboro, as we always say, one of the best places to live in America. Carl, it's been an honor to serve with you for these past, for me, 11 years. I know you've served for 15. And uh, I wish you all the best in whatever uh, endeavor t you take from here on in. And I know I, I speak for my colleagues as well. All right, I'll just keep this very brief. I just want <clears throat> to thank you for the, uh, for the recognition for the 15 years uh, serving with many of the people here. And I always say it's, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're kind of just up here setting policy, but it's all the, uh, the men and women who volunteer uh, in this town on our board's commissions, all the staff members here that really do drive this uh, Hillsborough to be one of the best places to live in America. And I do wish uh, the new <coughs> committee woman and committee man <coughs> all the best of luck going forward and continue the tradition and congratulations Mayor and Deputy Mayor on your appointment. So thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> I hope it's 
fits. <laughs> Congratulations again, Carl. Thank you for your, uh, your service to our community. Uh, at this point, I'd like to move on to uh, comments from the Township Committee. Um, and I will, uh, I will commence those, those discussions tonight. Um, well, good evening and Happy New Year to everyone here tonight. Um, thank you for being here and also thanks to those who are following along at home. Uh, we appreciate you being here as we initiate another year of municipal government here in Hillsborough, which starts here at the annual reorganization meeting that's held uh, the beginning of January of each year. It's an important step in our planning process annually, and your participation is greatly appreciated. Serving as a mayor of this town uh, is, once again, is a great, tremendous honor. Uh, I thank Doug, for your nomination, uh, and I thank my colleagues for the confidence and the faith they have placed in me uh, to represent Hillsborough once again as your mayor. I am proud to say that this will be my fifth term. I find that hard to believe sometimes, um, so, but I certainly understand the responsibility that comes with the title of mayor and the honor and the, uh, uh, and the privilege that comes with that. Uh, never wanes, regardless of how many times you, you have the opportunity to serve here. Uh, it's a duty that I accept with great pride and, and much humility. Uh, I'd like to congratulate our two new members on the committee here, Committee Woman Apani and Committee Woman Holmes, on their election to the, count, to the uh, Township Committee. Thank you both for your willingness to serve our community as an elected official. I hope you both took some time to enjoy the days following your election, but now it is time to get to work. <laughs> and uh, I look forward to working with both of you this year uh, to, make, to continue to better our, our community. As previously noted by, um, by Ms. Borak, unfortunately, Committee Woman McCauley was unable to join us tonight. Uh, she sends her regrets uh, for not being here due to the flu. I know she is extremely disappointed in not being here tonight. Um, but we will send her well wishes on getting better soon and hope she's able to join us uh, very quickly. Um, I also wanted to, I know we had a quick presentation for, uh, for Carl, but I just wanted to have a, say a few words about that. Um, Carl served 15 years on this township committee as a mayor, deputy mayor, and committeeman. Uh, 2018 was the final year of his long and distinguished tenure on the committee. This is my 12th year on this dais, and 2019 will be the first time uh, that Carl will not be serving on this committee with me. Since 2008, the first year we served together, Carl and I have had a special interest that we share in township financial matters and budget issues. Uh, it's one that we've both uh, tried to uh, serve the, the budget process as, as much as possible. And I know that uh, those that have served with him will agree that we will miss his counsel and guidance significantly. Carl, thank you for your 15 years of selfless and dedicated service to, to your community as a township committeeman here in Hillsboro. Thank you very much. One more round of applause. One of the special things about the reorganization meeting is the support of so many family and friends. Uh, thank you all for being here tonight. Your support is greatly appreciated. Uh, most importantly, I need to thank my wife, Renee, and my two girls, Rebecca and Kristen, uh, for their support. You simply cannot do this. Uh, serve up here, whether it's mayor or it's committeemen, uh, without the support, uh, full and unwavering of your family. Uh, I've been very fortunate 
that uh, my family has been very understanding in allowing me to do this for the past 12 years. And uh, I appreciate that they continue to allow me to do it uh, and realize this tremendous opportunity to serve our community here. So thank you all very much. I know this puts a little strain on you as well, um, but your support is forever appreciated. Of course, as Ms. Brock noted, I'd like to thank all of the state, county, uh, and local officials that have taken the time to join us here tonight. We thank them for their ongoing support of our great municipality. Um, we get tremendous support from all of the elected officials throughout the other branches, uh, and we know that that will continue. So thank you for your ongoing support of us. Senator Bateman, thank you for taking the time to administer the, the oath of office tonight, but more importantly, thanks for your many years of service to Hillsborough. Your leadership in Trenton, particularly on matters salient to Hillsborough, is greatly appreciated. Reverend Wolf, thank you for your uh, invocation and your prayers this evening. And thank you also to Girl Scout Service Unit 72 for presenting the colors and leading us in the pledge. You girls did a great job. I, I know you made your parents proud. Thank you very much. And Chief Powell, thank you for uh, working with them and, and uh, getting them prepared. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I, before we start to focus on the priorities for 2019, I just want to take a quick moment and look back at some of the significant work that was done in 2018. Last year was another year of great accomplishment and recognition in Hillsborough. It was the third consecutive year of no municipal tax increase in Hillsborough. In fact, the tax rate decreased last year. Fiscal responsibility continues to be a priority for this township committee, and 2019 will be no exception. Another key area of focus was infrastructure development, particularly related to road improvements. Last year, we approved an ordinance to fund $8.5 in roadway improvements over the next five years. The fiscal prudence and responsibility shown by this township committee over the past, de past decade has put us in an enviable position uh, to allow us to do this. Our commitment to limited debt and judicious spending, along with our very strong standard and poor's credit rating of AA+, affords us the opportunity to take on this roadway bond funding without handcuffing future budgets. As we have large portions of our debt rolling off in the next few years, we will simply re be replacing some of our debt with ma without materially increasing our debt service requirements. We will be sharing the timing of the specific road improvements later this year after further consultation with our engineering team. 2018 also saw the acquisition of additional 335 acres of land adjacent to both Ann Van Middlesworth Park and Mountain View Park in partnership with Somerset County. The land acquisition represents the second half of the property that served as the home of the now former GSA Bellmead Depot located off of Mountain View Road. This current acquisition now means that Hillsborough and Somerset County will fully own the nearly 700 acres parcel. While the property is strategically significant given the proximity to other parks and open space, this acquisition will also lead to the major benefit for Hillsborough residents, namely the limitation of this land for residential development as this parcel was once a target of a major developer for more than 800 homes. This state's affordable housing mandates will continue to challenge us, however. This acquisition will certainly reduce our overall affordable housing requirement, which is a win for Hillsborough Township. And then finally, in 2018, we completed our state-mandated master plan re-examination process. The re-examination is an opportunity to take another look at the master plan and ensure that we are focusing on the proper initiatives related to that master plan. I want to thank our planning director for his work on this plan and the planning board for the effort in ensuring we, we completed this on time uh, with the appropriate priorities. The master plan with the town center vision remains a municipal priority and we are now starting to see the town center vision come into focus and the completion of the bypass remains a key element. I'm pleased to announce that the bypass remains on track for completion in early 2020 and I want to thank Mayor McCauley for her efforts working with the DOT to ensure that the project remained on track. As we turn our attention to 2019, fiscal responsibility and continued focus on our municipal budget will be a key priority. By any measure, I believe we have been quite successful in managing the town's finances. However, we can never rest on those laurels. In 2019, the Township Committee needs to continue to seek economic efficiencies in operations and continue our business-like approach to municipal government in order to continue to put our taxpayers first. I am pleased to note that Committee Lampani will join me on the Finance Committee working in collaboration with our CFO, 
I believe is in the room today, Nancy, uh, and our township administrator to ensure that we present a prudent and responsible budget for 2019. As noted earlier, we have been quite active in recent years acquiring open space in order to limit the residential development opportunities in Hillsborough. However, the land acquisitions also provide us with challenges and opportunities for access to and use of that space. We will be looking at opportunities to put our open space to use for our residents through the implementation of trails and park amenities wherever possible. I know that our parks and recreation team and Deputy Mayor Thompson, who will, lead the lead, who will be lead liaison to parks and recreation, are already looking at possibilities to ensure that our park system remains the jewel that it is. We look forward to sharing those plans later this year. While not by choice, in 2019, we'll be working to finalize our affordable housing plan to meet our state mandates. Hillsboro and other New Jersey municipalities are tasked with meeting a massive, burdensome, and candidly unfair requirement for new affordable housing as part of the latest round of the state's affordable housing mandate. We are still working with our court master and fair share housing to finalize the total number of mandated affordable housing units. We expect to receive that number later this year. While we still hold out hope for a legislative solution to limit the burden being placed on municipalities and to take the process away from the courts, we must continue to work forward the, toward the best possible plan for our residents in order to mitigate the impact in the event that a legislative solution has not come to pass. Otherwise, we risk losing control of the planning process to the courts. And finally, it is with deep concern that I must note that it appears the governor is driving to fulfill his pledge to legalize recreational marijuana in New Jersey. While Hillsborough is not in a position to stop that approval, we can ensure that dispensaries have no place here and that sales will not be permissible. At this time, there are simply not adequate parameters to police marijuana use while individuals are under the influence. The relatively nominal sales tax revenue being proposed by the state does not remotely outweigh the concerns of our residents and our police department. I look forward to working with my colleagues on the dais to protect our residents from this reckless legislation. In closing, I'd like to thank my colleagues again for bestowing upon me the great honor of serving as mayor of Hillsborough, one of the best places to live in America. I recognize the responsibility that comes with the title of mayor, and you have my commitment that I will work diligently in this role, always keeping the best interest of Hillsborough first. Thank you again to those family and friends gathered here tonight and those residents watching at home. I look forward with great pride in serving this community as your mayor in 2019. Thank you, and God bless you all. At this time, it's my pleasure to invite Deputy Mayor Thompson to offer his remarks. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first and foremost, of course, congratulations uh, on your appointment as mayor this year. I'm honored to serve as your deputy mayor in that capacity. Um, at seeing this as your fifth time up here, I know you're a pro at it, and uh, I look forward to a very active 2019. Also, congratulations to Olivia and to Sean on uh, being elected to full terms and being elected to your first term on the Township Committee. Uh, I know it's, a, it's an awesome responsibility, but this is one of the best towns in America, so I look forward to working with you both to make sure we stay there. Um, I also, of course, be remiss if I didn't thank my family, uh, my wife, and my three children who, uh, as the mayor put it, they, are, they make great sacrifices for you when you have the opportunity to serve up here. So I, it, I thank them for allowing me to do this uh, and to make all those sacrifices when we have to run out to a meeting and everything like that. And as I promised them, I'd keep it short tonight because it is a school night. So Hannah and Haley does have, do have school tomorrow. So, uh, and my wife, she has school tomorrow too, right? So I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. Uh, this town wouldn't be as amazing as it is if it wasn't for the dedicated staff. And I look around the room, there's so many staff that's here right now that just came out to this meeting. And it, it's so appreciative because we're a board of directors essentially up here. And if you know a business format, we can set a policies in place. But if it's not the execution of the amazing team that we have uh, from, you know, between the 170 to 170 to 60 employees that we have, they wouldn't get done. So they're the reasons that we're the best. So I thank them all for attending tonight and for just executing all the great plans that we try to put in place. Uh, I also want to thank Mayor Sirachi for your 15 years. Uh, it was an honor to serve with you. Uh, I go back and I look at the photos that we have along the wall and I see you all those years and 
went back and looked at the photos of you with your family when they were the size of my children. You got to see them grow up, and now your kids are both in college. So it's, uh, I kind of see a little bit of me as you went that same way in there. So it's an honor to serve in your footsteps, and thank you for guiding the town for 15 years. Um, and last but not least, I want to thank Senator Bateman for swearing me in tonight. And uh, again, it is an absolute honor to serve on this township committee with this dedicated group of individuals to try to make this uh, stay the best town in all of America. It's my hometown, and I'll never let that change, and we'll always make sure we protect it so we stay the best. So thank you, Mayor. I kept it short. It's a school night. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Deputy Mayor. Uh, Committee Woman Holmes. Thank you. <clears throat> Um, thank you, Mayor. I am excited and honored to be sitting up here tonight as a new committee woman representing the people of Hillsboro. I would like to thank our two assemblymen attending here tonight, Roy Fryman and Andrew Zwicker. I would like to uh, congratulate and thank everyone who helped me become what I've become. I want to thank Jeffrey Wright. I want to thank my campaign committee and all the volunteers for all their hard work organizing meet and greets, fundraisers, and supporting me throughout my campaign. I only have one more thing I'm going to read because, hey, this is a school night and we all want to have some fun, right? <laughs> my favorite part of the campaign was getting the opportunity to walk door to door and introduce myself to all my neighbors in Hillsboro. People were friendly and gracious and would take the time after working a long day and be in the middle of their dinner and they would stop and they would engage me in conversation. We discussed local issues that mattered to them personally, such as traffic, overdevelopment, schools. But nearly everywhere I went, the conversation eventually turned to the present state of our country. That is when they became passionate and spoke of things that kept them up at night. They expressed their concern for the polarization and the partisanship dividing us. They feel democracy and the rule of law slipping away. Will they have enough money to pay the bills? Will they lose their homes if they get sick? Will Social Security and Medicare be there when they retire? These are the things that people seem to be worried about and be talking about. I think that we all can work on this committee together to help at a local level because you have to start at the local level. One person can't solve these problems, but it is crucial that each of us do what we can. And then that is why I ran for office. I believe that if we work together as a community, we can come up with solutions at the local level that will improve our town and also in some small way contribute to the global solutions. That's all I have. And thank you, everyone. And congratulations to everyone on this dais. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Committee Lapani. I'm clean up. All right. I'll be brief, <clears throat> but um, I'd like to thank the mayor and uh, good evening to everybody for coming out. A um, little bit of a tough time after the holidays and, you know, get out, out of the office first day back to work and then come here. I know my wife's excited to be here, so I'll try and get her home soon. <laughs> um, fellow committee members, staff, honored guests, Hillsborough residents, friends and family. I'm honored to be sworn in this evening as your committeeman. Thank you, Assemblyman Chitterelli for performing the oath of office ceremony this evening and for your guidance support this year. It meant a lot. Thank you. I would also like to thank my family, my wife Tara, my daughter Anastasia, my parents, Vince and Barbara, and my brother Troy. You have all sacrificed immeasurably <coughs> and without adulation in support of my pursuit in this endeavor. Without it, I would not be here today. Thank you very much. I'd like to th congratulate Ms. Holmes and look forward to working with her and the committee for the residents of Hillsboro. I think we can make a great team. As a lifelong resident of this great community, I have witnessed its transformation 
from a small rural town that wasn't even published on a map to a top 100 township we all love to call home. I look forward to guiding Hillsborough into the future with hard work and a willingness to consider all options in order to improve our municipality for all. My philosophy will always be to consider the Hillsborough residents and our business community's best interest as my compass while you're committing me. Lastly, I'd like to thank Carl Sirachi, as we all have, and also Greg Bruchette, who I temporarily took his office for leaving, for their past service to Hillsborough. I will endeavor to parallel their legacy of dedication and vision to this community and committee. I am humbled to be, your elected, to be elected to the Hillsborough Township Committee, and I accept this charge with the utmost respect for its responsibility and consequences. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Commitman. Okay, now we're going to move on to our reorganization business for the evening. We'll move on to considerations. First, consideration number one is a resolution adopting the rules of order for 2019. These rules of order will continue to provide the public with an opportunity for, to be heard on ordinances and considerations prior to a vote by the Township Committee, along with the opportunity to, for the public to be heard on matters that are not on the agenda. This extensive opportunity for public comment was instituted by the Township Committee here in Hillsborough in 2003, and we remain committed to public involvement in Township decision making. May I have a motion? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Committee, Hol uh, Committee Woman Holmes. Here. Committee Woman nope. Lapani. It's yes or no. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You'll catch up. Yeah. Uh, Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. And Mayor Delcor. Yes. Consideration number two is a resolution authorizing the 2019 Community Development Committee appointments. This resolution authorizes the appointment of Assistant Township Engineer Thomas Bellinger and Township Clerk, PIO, and Communications Director. I thought there was more. There's, 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 yeah, there's I, probably I like six or seven problem. more titles. I limited it on that one. To the 2019 Community Development Committee. Administrator Ferreira and Deputy Health Advisor uh, Officer Siobhan Spano are appointed as alternates. May I have a motion? So moved, Mayor. Second. Any comments from the dais? Comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Man Lapani? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Deputy Mayor Delcor? Yes. Consideration number three is a resolution authorizing appointments of township officers and officials for 2018 as listed. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Second, Mayor. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes. Yes. Committee Man Lapani. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. And Mayor Delcor. Yes. Consideration number four is a resolution authorizing the appointment of municipal court officers as listed. May I have a motion? So moved, Mayor. Second. Comments from the dais? From the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes. Yes. Committee Woman Lapani. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. And Mayor Delcourt. Yes. Consideration number five is a resolution authorizing the appointments and execution of various professional service and other service providers in accordance with the fair and open selection process for the year 2019 as listed. May I have a motion? So, so moved. Second, Mayor. Comments from the dais? From the floor, roll call. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Man Lapani? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. And Mayor Delcor? Yes. Consideration number six is a mayoral appointment, uh, or mayoral appointments. So I'd like to thank all of the volunteers, uh, not just under the mayoral appointments, but those that serve on all of our boards and commissions. Uh, the town simply cannot function without the support uh, that we get from all the volunteers that serve on our various boards and commissions. So I'd like to thank them all. Uh, we get tremendous support from the public, and uh, we know that that will continue given the community spirit we have here in Hillsborough. 
So uh, the the uh, mayoral appointments for 2019 are listed in the resolution. Uh, we will move on to uh, consideration number seven, which is mayoral appointments with consent of the township committee as listed. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Floor. Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes. Yes. Committee Man Lapani. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. And Mayor Dalcor. Yes. Res uh, consideration eight is a resolution authorizing uh, the township committee appointments as listed. May I have a motion? So moved. Second, Mayor. Comments from the dais? From the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes. Yes. Committee Man Lapani. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. And Mayor Delcor. Yes. Once again, thanks to all the volunteers on our boards and commissions. An email will be going out tomorrow alerting you all of the date and time of your first meeting uh, on the various boards that you serve on. Consideration number nine is a resolution approving the Township Committee assignments and Township Committee li liaison assignments for 2019 as listed. May I have a motion? So moved, Mayor. Second. From the dais. From the floor. Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes. Yes. Committee Min Lapani. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. Mayor Delcor. Yes. Consideration number 10 is a resolution adopting the 2019 temporary budget. State law provides that a municipality may adopt a temporary budget in an amount not to exceed 26.25% of the previous year's budget at the beginning of the year. This gives the Township Committee time to develop a new annual budget and allows for the government to continue its operations until a formal budget is adopted. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Comments from the dais? From the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Man Lapani? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes, we don't shut down. <laughs> right. and, thank you. And Mayor Delgor? Yes. Consideration 11 is a resolution authorizing Premier Media LLC to videotape the Hillsborough Township Committee meetings in 2019 at a cost of $250 per meeting pursuant to a proposal submitted on December the 14th, 2018. Kaz, thank you for your support. We're always welcome, uh, happy to have your assistance. Thank you. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Comments from Adeus? From the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Man Lapani? Yes. Look. Sorry, I was skipping. I got excited. Patience, please. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes, welcome back, Cass. <laughs> Thank you. And Mayor Delcor? Thank you, Cass. Yes. Okay, we'll move on to the consent agenda. May I have a motion to approve the consent agenda this evening? I'll make a motion. Second. Any comments on tonight's consent agenda? Seeing none, roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes. Yes. Committee Man Lapani. Yes. Committee Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. And Mayor Delcourt. Yes. Uh, we will move to comment on matters that are not on the agenda. Is there anyone that has a comment on a matter that is not on tonight's agenda? Okay. Uh, before we move on to uh, closing the meeting, I would like to acknowledge we, uh, we, I don't know how we missed it, but I'd like to recognize uh, former freeholder mayor and Republican chairman, uh, Ken Shearer, who we did not acknowledge earlier during the roll call. I apologize. <laughs> okay. At this time, I'd like to remind everyone that there's cake and coffee uh, reception immediately following this meeting. It's across the hall in the multi-purpose room. Everyone here uh, is welcome, and we hope you'll join us for uh, some refreshments and get a chance to uh, to work with the uh, get to know the township committee here. Um, once again, thank you all for coming yeah, out tonight. This will conclude our 2019 reorganization meeting. The next regular meeting will be scheduled uh, on January the 8th, 2019 at 7.30 p.m. That will be our first regular Hillsborough Township Committee meeting 
for 2019. So good night, happy new year, and I look forward to 2019. May I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Third. Any comments from the dais? No. <laughs> Floor. Here. We're adjourning. Roll call, please. <laughs> Committee Woman Holmes. Yes. yes. Committee Man Lapani. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. And Mayor Delcor. Yes. Good night, and uh, thank you for being here. We are out of here. Thank you.